I think I think I just offended Julie. <laughs> That's 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 not a phone. What you're holding is not a phone. Mom, this is being mean do you, to me. Do you understand that that's not a you? Do you get that no one's answering you? Do Does you that bother him? you at all? Do you hear him? Yeah, I know. Not. I know, right? What is wrong with her? My mom is gonna have a war with you. There is no one on the other line. I gotta go, mom. I gotta go. No, I'll be okay. I have to stay in the car for almost an hour with this craziness. You know, first you insult my children, and now you insult this. You don't have children! Oh. According oh. to her, oh. Steve-O and her have Dude. seven You're children. I can name buddy. them Gabriel, Anna, Mary, Chiquita, and Paco, and... <laughs> Why are you having problems with your kids' names, Julie? Some of them are assholes. Some of them are assholes. And, 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 and... So you don't remember the names? Anna, Chiquita, Mary, Paco, Paco. Um, Fabio. Fabio, Fabio and Stella. Stella. Fabio and Stella. So Fabio and Stella are like the redheaded they stepchildren. Yes. You don't like them at all? Yes. How sad. I'm yes. sorry, Fabio and Stella, if you're watching. They're really weird because... They're weird. They like come into our bed at night and they go... Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that is... Help! Hey, buddy. Oh, like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Swerving, Mr. That guy was coming into this lane, okay, Chris? God. And by our. We almost crashed thanks to Sivo, by the way. Our puppy's bed, and they stroke the puppy, and they go, um, num, 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 and I go, what are you guys doing? And they go, <laughs> So your kids are mentally handicapped. <laughs> no comment. No well, comment. I mean, you are the father, so that would make sense. You. Stop insulting my family, okay? <laughs> So how did you end up jealous? Steve was gay last time I checked. So how did you sleep with a gay man? And that gay thing occasionally gets in the way of their relationship. <laughs> they work out. Some fights, it causes some fights. Yes, but, but we look past them. Do you have yeah. sex like through a sheet so you don't see each other? <laughs> That's sure. personal, Chris. It's so hard, bro. Do you have to like talk with a deep voice like Doobie Steve? Oh, so like he like can actually. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. It's okay. It's okay. So to wrap up, Julie's crazy. Uh, Steve-O and Julie have seven kids. Two of them they hate. Uh, Steve-O is gay in a straight relationship and has a- Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> hey guys, so we finally got on here and we're about to go to Weekend of Horrors. That's what it's called, Weekend of Horrors. And I'm excited because we're gonna get to meet John Carpenter, uh, director of Halloween. Hepatitis. <laughs> Hepatitises are so cute. I know. I've never wanted hepatitis so bad in my life. Maybe this is what I need to do to get cured. I need to like. Yeah, play with me. They're triples. The trouble with triples. Sperm. Yes. Steve, oh, you got sperm on your face. You got sperm. Get it because he's gay. Why do people tell you not to get diseases? They're adorable. I want all of them personally. So Just look over here and give me a big smile, and he can take a still of this. That's that's pretty. That's good. That's so cool. <laughs> that's that's me. awesome. That's so cool. That's awesome. Really? You got this, Steve. Sure do. You gotta have faith. If you're negative from the get go, you're gonna lose. My positive energy will. Dude, go for this little gray fool. Gray or the pink one right here? Oh. Rigged! <laughs> oh god. <gasps> nah! This movie was made in 22 days. 22 days. The happiest moment of this movie was when we got done. <laughs> we had a very young crew, young cast. We were just you know, some kids trying to make movies. Dark Star was the first film I directed. It was a student film that became a feature film. It took me four years to finish it. I know you said that your films were initially met with a lot of criticism. How do you take that as a filmmaker and sort of learn from it but then rise above it? You get real pissed off at first. Well, there, there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, I like it when people like the movies I made, but if they don't, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I know I've had this weird career where when my movies came out, they weren't loved and appreciated, but later they are, when people see them on television or DVD. 
And love is better than hate. If you take it, it's part of my business. It's what part of what I do for a living. You just gotta take it. Take the criticism, take the failures, and move on. So we just got to meet John Carpenter. Well not meet him, we got to see him talk, but we were we were very close to the man, which was Whatever, pretty cool. I, I have to be honest, he seemed like he hated his life. I don't know how else to explain it. I respect the man, he's a great horror movie director. But he just had this, like, Julie put it well, like, he had answered these questions about these movies way too many times already. And, and some of the questions were retarded. And some of the questions were dumb. I feel like he's probably been, like, like, he's so been through the Hollywood thing, like, so many times. Yeah. That he just over wants it. out now. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, a fact. He answered the questions well. He makes great movies, and it was just really cool to get to see the director of Halloween and a lot of great movies. They're doing it again. This time, Julie is here helping Steve-O talk on the phone. Yeah. That isn't plugged in. Look, that watch. That is so cool. Watch, watch this. Watch that this. Not, so not plugged hey, in hey, to hey, anything. I have a message. Oh. You know it's the phone's not plugged in. <laughs> it's like dealing with Steve-O and his sister. <laughs> like, they're the same. The phone's not plugged in. You guys understand this, You're right? Rude. You're Stop being, being such a jerk. All the time. You know, it's not even funny this time. So don't <laughs> even go there. Am I crazy? Like, you understand that the phone is... Oh, no. They're the crazy ones. Okay. okay. I love them anyway. I'm getting into character. Oh, <laughs> what you done? Now, Cross the couple bucks now, now, now he's never going to call back. I'm pissed. Redial. <laughs> oh, redial. Don't you redial on my phone. So Chris is being the dirtiest, nastiest person alive. It's it's disgusting, actually. I'm just pulling the green screen off. Just pulling back the foreskin. Just pulling back the Wait, foreskin of the green why screen. Wait, why is you know? it why is it black? <laughs> and you're white. I'm part black. And uh, there you go. Oh, I hope sorry. someone flags it. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, don't flag this video because of that, please. And one, and two, and three, and four, and ready? And okay. <laughs> Please do that to the camera. <laughs> I have the back side. I didn't get the front side. It's the new aerobics. <laughs> She is an unfit mother. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. I feel anything, I was really surprised. I know. <laughs> it's my balls. I'm taking such a beating and not like a fun kind. 